everyone. Welcome to Joe and Zach's Survival. I'm up here at the tent. I'm taking a look at the raised bed gardens and the rocky soil potatoes and my little herb inside of the containers. And some of it's doing okay, some of it not so good, some of it's disappeared. So let's go through it all and see what does grow up north and what doesn't. Okay, so right here we have our regular domestic type um, strawberries. These are ones that I transplanted from home. Um, these are June bearing, and now we're talking, we're well into July here. Well, it's like the 7th of July, and I'm just starting to now. This one is just about ripe. Um, I've got some over here that are growing, so everything is behind, you know, at least a month up here. But that said, these are growing. I lost one that was right there, and that one there I actually could see the first time I come up here. I think something got in there and ate it, but maybe not, because why didn't they come back and eat the rest of this? Okay, so here we have the two rolls of garlic. Um, I would say of, of what I've been growing, this actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, I've seen better looking garlic, but you know, it does fall over a lot anyway, and we'll see how it ends up in the fall. But so far, I kind of got my fingers crossed that the garlic is doing okay. Okay, so this row was shallots, and I would say that that's pretty much a total loss. I mean, I can pull this and I mean, there's roots down there, but it just died off. I don't know if it was too cold in the spring, yet this is not rotted at all. I just don't know. And there's one over here that is growing, but I mean, it's not looking very healthy. So I think, I've never grown shallots before though, so I can't really tell you how they're supposed to grow, but I know they're not supposed to look like that. <laughs> so I'll see if anything happens with that one that's down there, but otherwise I'm saying that they were probably a total loss. All right, so this is my two rows of onions that I planted here. These are not green onions. They're just the regular bulb onions. And I've got these planted at home too. And I mean, these are doing all right, but definitely, definitely should be healthier looking. It looks to me like something's been chewing some of them off too. They shaded out that much. But although this garden also though doesn't get, we're getting full sun right now compared to the other raised one. Um, you can just tell it's still just not quite as healthy as it is, say, down where I live, you know, in the cities. Okay, so this is my little row of bean plants that I planted. And I have these planted back at home, too, and that's about 250 miles south. And these were planted a month earlier than the ones at home, and the ones at home are at least twice this tall, and they're just beginning to flower there, too. So I think I can get beans here, but I, I think that, you know, once again, they're going to be a little stunted just because it's chillier up here. And rain has not been an issue this year, though. It has been very damp up here. So at least we're not dealing with any drought conditions like a lot of you people are. So I think we're going to get beans, but not like the yields that I would have got at home. All my transplanted daylilies, which looked really sickly when I planted them in here, are seem to be coming along real good. And once again, that's a wild edible, so I'm going to just let these grow and multiply and... They'll look pretty, and if I ever needed them, they would be here. All right, so this here, guys, is the wild strawberries that I plant, uh, transplanted into a raised bed, and I, too, have to, still have to come through here and do some more weeding. And the fruiting season on these, of course, would have been way earlier because they were flowering when I planted them, and that was seven weeks, seven weeks ago, yeah. So, but it's really weird because in this, um, where they are here, and they're not really having any trouble with... Um, a whole lot of like where they were growing before it would have been real tall grass around all of them and these now I've kind of grown up and almost look like a like a like a domesticated type the plants seem to be get really big and now they're all starting to to spider off so we'll be getting more plants which will be nice so that they multiply I was pretty sure they did that I mean I know the ones do that you plant at your house but I didn't really know if they did that the wild ones so um, now I do know and I mean they're all doing real good so these are real healthy and and I think next year we'll get a good little crop of, of the wild strawberries. Okay, this is my row of carrots. Um, first of all, this garden gets less sun than the other garden does, and it shows on these plants on some of them. But I have carrots that are growing here, but something likes to eat them, and, uh, and some of them are just tiny. So I think... I think if these were fenced, it would be a little bit better, but I'm not really convinced that it's an animal eating them. I think I've got some bugs in here that are doing this, and you'll see that on some of the other ones. Um, and so it'll just be interesting. But I'm certainly not going to get any carrots out of this garden. All right, this is my row of turnips right here. And although they are growing halfway decent, I mean, I would have to go through here and, and you know, weed them out so they're every three inches, but something is really eating these leaves. I, I mean, and it's a bug, and I don't know what kind of bug it is, but it's, uh, 
it has stunted these out. I doubt that I'll get much out of these either, but um, I don't know if I could find out what kind of bug. I mean, if I was at home, I would probably dump some seven on there, you know, <laughs> but up here, we're just trying to do it. This is like a place that you would go, almost like a bug out location. You've got your stuff planted. Will it grow or won't it grow? Because you're not going to be able to do a lot with it because you're not going to be here all the time. Okay, this is my row of beets. Total failure. I've got nothing. But at first, they were growing good. My folks stopped by here and checked. Well, maybe this would have been one right here. Maybe there is a plant there. They stopped by and checked it and said it was up. But now there is nothing here. And I can see here, here. There are tracks of animals that are in here. I know that deer love beets. Maybe they came in and ate them. You know, I don't know. There's no, there's a lot of deer up here. So anything could have done it. But otherwise, that kind of like the shallots, that row is, to me, a total loss. Okay, for the last two rows that are in this raised bed, I've got my beans over here and I've got peas over here. And now this garden, once again, maybe gets four hours of direct sunlight a day and then it gets it shaded off and on through the trees. But the beans, these are planted one week later than the ones that are in the other raised bed. I did these a week apart. And, you know, they're kind of doing the same as the other ones. They're just about to flower. They're stunted from what, what I'm growing at home, but I am going to get some beans out of here. So if I had a, a, whole, a whole plot of these, I could get quite a few beans. Now the peas, that's another story. And peas, they do really need a lot of sun. I've grown a lot of peas before, and this is just a classic telltale look of uh, something that's not getting enough sun. Yeah, now we're not flowering yet on these, but some of them are healthy enough, so they might, but, and I should have these strung up too, but I wasn't even sure if they were going to pop out of the ground, so we just had to give it a try and see if they came up, and they're not too bad. It's kind of funny because up front here, it's a little better, and then back here it is, so maybe this is getting more sun, and this little part gets shaded a little bit from the tree. I'm not sure. Before we run over into the potatoes, um, I just passed this little mound that's right here. I had planted tiger lilies in here. I've got a lot of tiger lilies at home. Brought them up here, transplanted them, and they actually started out growing pretty good. And I like them. They're, they're a very pretty flower. They're a strong plant. They, they reproduce easily, and they're another edible, and there's a lot there to eat. But, unfortunately, on these, deer track, deer track, deer track, and uh, they've completely eaten them down to nothing. So this would have to be something I would have to fence. Um, they were doing so good. My mom stopped over here and looked at them for me three weeks ago or four weeks ago. She said they're doing great. And I get up here and I don't have nothing. I've got the stump where they were, <laughs> but I have no plants. So there's another one that I'll have to fence. Okay, so here's one of our two potato plants. And as you can see, they're growing fine. Um, <laughs> This time of year, I suppose they should be bigger. It took them a long time to come out of the ground, but I planted these quite deep. So hopefully I could get some, you know, some room down there for, for some potatoes because it's such rocky soil and I'm not going to be here to mound everything up. But there is a bug that's at this and I did not find any potato bugs. I don't even know if they exist this far north. But something is eating on it and you'll see that on the other plant here. So I have, I have an idea anyway. But these are starting to flower and um, so hopefully we'll get some potatoes. Okay, here's the second potato plant, and as you can see, it's just getting disintegrated. This one's down to nothing, and that's not an animal eating that. That's definitely bugs. It's not, um, I didn't have to do any weeding on these here. It's fairly weed-free. I've got a couple of little ones, but otherwise we've got bunch berry. That's not really getting into it. I've got a wild rose growing over there. Um, nothing is really choking it out. So what I'm going to try, um, I have no idea what bug that is. It kind of looks like when an aphid gets on your, your stuff. So I'm going to take my dehydrated banana peel and I'm just going to sprinkle this over like I would do if I was going to use like a seven dust or something like that. And I'm just going to see because I'll be back up here either next week or the week after. And I'm just going to see if that uh, has any effect on it. And if you guys haven't seen my video on bana dehydrated banana peel, just go to the channel and do a search on that and check it out. It's supposed to keep aphids away and does a lot of other good stuff. Okay, so the last little bit of this video, we have our herb container gardens here. Of each one I had the four different types. Um, if you guys remember when I planted these, when I left, it was full to the top with snow. So <laughs> I, was, I was kind of, wasn't sure anything would grow but and a lot of it's really weird because some stuff has grown and some stuff hasn't done anything and the other stuff I don't really know what it's supposed to look like but 
This is cilantro, obviously. This grew very well. And now we're, like the potatoes, you're seeing this, it's partially shaded. These pull a full six hours of sun a day. So, I mean, we're right on by the lake, so then the sun comes up over the lake, it's all morning sunshine, we get at least six hours. But as far as the cumin, I don't think we got anything in this one. I mean, this is nice though, it's flowering and stuff. So, cilantro looks good, spearmint, okay. I believe we had spearmint, and I believe something ate it is what I'm thinking there. And the same over here with oregano. I've got some stems that are up that are completely chewed off. So I'm thinking maybe I've got something that doesn't like them, but the cumin, I got nothing on that one. Now over here, this one's doing crappier than that one. And uh, we have basil, which maybe there's nothing. I think that's a sick looking plantain. I don't know though, I have to look up what basil looks like. Chives, I don't know. think that's chives. I think that is a um, violet. <laughs> I don't know. And this over here is supposed to be rosemary. I have no, I know it's not this. These are weeds. And there were quite a few weeds in here when, yesterday when I weeded it after the rain stopped. So unless this is rosemary, um, then I would have two of them. And they are in that area. So I'll have to look that up. Otherwise I've got two weeds in there and no rosemary. Sage. Um, this is definitely a plant of some sort, but it could be the chives or the sage. I'm not sure. I've got to look that up. Or maybe this is. Now, if any of you guys know what these are, let me know. Otherwise, I have to look it up. I'm just giving you an update on what grows and what doesn't grow, and then I'll figure out what's going on. So, there you have it. That's what's going on with all the gardens up here. I thank you guys for all the comments and people that are asking for the updates on this. Um, sorry, it's been seven weeks since I was up here, but I'll just continue looking at them as the season goes on. Thanks a lot for watching the Jones Act Survival Channel.